Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to me channel. Me name Mango, as always, here with another video. It's been a minute, but uh, I really didn't have anything specific on my mind that I wanted to speak about in the last few weeks. I've just been busy with my own stuff. But today, as I, as I was at work, I found something to speak about. So my day job, I'm a delivery driver, work for a cheese company. I drive a van, I deliver all around Melbourne, to restaurants, to, you know, different businesses, stadiums, airport, you know, anywhere. And because I'm always on the go, I'm always interacting with people at the restaurants, customers, business people. I'm always interacting with people and I love it. But through this interaction, it's given me more insight as to how we are as humans. And so I want to share a few things from today. I just started this job like a month and a bit ago, so still fresh, but uh, I'm liking it so far. So this video, I think I'm going to title it, Not Everything Is About You. As I was delivering today, as I was just on my day job, driving around, talking to different people, as I interact with different people at different stores, you just notice the vast differences between different people's energy, right? And everyone's interacting with each other you know, the restaurants, the businesses, the, the local shops, the small businesses. It's full on. Everyone's in and out, delivering, talking, lifting, uh, producing, packaging. So conversations are happening all day. And today I was delivering to a small business. And this lady... She's always usually in a in a bad mood, pretty negative, doesn't really say hello that much. And I don't know what her circumstances are or whatever. And she looks a bit busy, but she doesn't look that busy. And after I left that place, I went to another uh, shop that I was delivering to. And this lady, and a, a more older woman... She is flat out busy. She is busy up to her neck. And she still makes like the time of day to smile, to talk to me like she as if she's not busy. The way she, she was talking to me as is as if she's not running around busy as hell, smiling, relaxed, but still moving and on the go. And I was fascinated by that, you know? The difference in that it just shows that it's all within us we can choose to give whatever energy we choose to give we can choose to vibrate on whatever level of the spectrum that we choose to happy joyful not joyful it's all in us and so the title not everything is about you I think fits for today's talk because our whole lives, every day, we're always thinking about us primarily. What do I have to do today? Even me, okay, I'm, del I'm a delivery driver. Okay, how many deliveries do I have? Okay, I just delivered this. Okay, I got to go here next. It's going to take me 10 minutes to get there. Okay, You're, we're always thinking for self. And that's not a problem. But... I really feel if we all step the fuck back, scan out of our day-to-day -day activity, our day-to-day -day reality, that will 
give us a lot of peace and will make our interactions with each other a lot more smoother, a lot more joyful. If we can all cultivate joy and realize there are no requirements to be happy, to be joyful. It's within us. It's for free. Right? And don't be so hell-bent about what your daily activity is. Oh, I've got to get this done. And so it takes away from our joy. You said that yesterday and the day before. If you work five days a week, a week every day you, that monologue is playing in your head. I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And then you're moving around. It's all going to get done. You can still move around and be conscious of what tasks you have to do and get them done at whatever speed you want. But scan back and realize that everyone is also in the same boat as you. I can't just think of myself when I'm driving, delivering, because the person on the receiving end also wants to get their product. And so I need to compromise and work with them. Maybe they don't want me to go through the front end of the store. Maybe they want me to go through the back end. Uh, maybe they want it done like this and like that and realize that they also have the same criteria that you have in your head about yourself. That I need to do this checklist Everybody has that checklist in their mind. So we're all the same. We all have jobs to do every single day. We don't have to be so energetically constricted and mentally narrow into our tasks and just be so pigeonholed into that. We can scan back, right, and realize yeah, we have things to do, just like every other day we have things to do. What makes today different? We don't have to run around like a chicken with our head cut off. Doesn't mean we don't be productive, we don't get things done in a fast manner. No, you can still be on the go, but present as you're on the go. Be present and mindful that you're not the only one in this world. Everybody's thinking like you. And so when you become too rigid and your mindset is too narrow into, oh, i got to get this done. You, you adopt a mentality of, get out of my way. Everybody get out of my way. Oh, I've got shit to do. Get out of my way. And oh, the, oh, I'm bothered. And this person over here is bothering me. And oh, it's an inconvenience. Oh, get out of my way. Right? You become cranky and annoyed. And if you notice this, if you're in a bad mood at work or wherever you are, something's annoying you, frustrating you, notice that once you're frustrated, every little thing frustrates you after that. Oh, God, just, just get out of my way. Oh, oh. You know, you just become a cranky. You know, completely unnecessary. You know, um, we become too pigeonholed. Our mindset is too narrow into just what, what do I have to get done? Get out of my way. Move, move, get out of my, I've got shit to do. Bah, 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 bah. You know, you notice some people are like that. Because they forget that they're not the only one in this world. Everybody has shit to do. It's not about the shit that we need to do. It's about how we're doing it. Because the significance of this is if we can be present and just do what we do relaxed and focus on like that, if especially a lot of us We've been in our jobs for quite some time. So a lot of the time we already know what we're meant to do at work. It's not something you have to think so hard about. So we can relax and do our tasks. There'll be days that are busy. Doesn't mean you don't be busy or you don't be stressed. That's natural. But 
be conscious when you're stressed. And realize that other people are also probably stressed. And having that awareness prevents you from just dumping your stress onto the next person. You see how this works? Because let's say, for example, somebody at the store is having a bad day for whatever reason, her, her day is just busy, a lot of customers, whatever. Then I come through there as a delivery person and because you're already in a shit mood, now, no matter what I say or even if I'm doing everything right in your book, you, you might just find something to be angry about or what took you so long? Or, you know, any little, you're searching for things to be annoyed about because your mentality is already in that space. And so now you're affecting my mood or the next person's mood that has nothing to do with what you're doing. Have that discernment, have that awareness to realize this is my problem. Yes, maybe work is busy as hell. This customer's annoying, whatever it is but that's my thing and mentally that's for me to process and deal with and to discern and not to just dump your shit onto the next person that has that's in a good mood and has not no idea about your reality because then now you dump that onto the next person and then now they're in a shit mood and then they dump that onto the next person and then they're in a shit mood and we're all just in shit moods, dumping it onto the next person. And the other way around is if somebody is in a negative state, in a bad mood, and they lash out at you, if you can have the self-love and the discernment and the peace to not go tit for tat, you just see them, they're in a bad mood. To not let that affect your energy too much. You know, it might piss you off, that's natural. But just to see the bigger picture, see what's happening, process it yourself, you know, scream if you have to, like by yourself or whatever you have to do to vent or whatever you have to do. And then go back to peace, go back to neutral, right? Don't let it, don't let it disturb you in that moment and then take that moment to the next moment and the next moment and now your whole day is disturbed by one person. And mind you, that one person that upset you, disturbed you, that disturbance had nothing to do with you in the first place. They're just mad at their own reality. So to have the awareness to see that, oh, this isn't even personal. She's yelling at me. I didn't do anything wrong. She's yelling at me. That's okay. She's in a bad mood. It doesn't excuse her, but you can't control other people. And sometimes you have to be professional. So just, just realizing that, oh, this is not to be taken personal already can just relax you. So seeing the bigger picture of things, that's really what this is about. Getting out of your own head. You're not the only person in this world. Everybody wants what you want. We all naturally cultivate joy within us. It's our birthright. It's for free, as I said. So we should just be naturally happy. Um, and if you don't naturally feel happy, happy, just focus on things in your life that you are grateful for. And naturally that will change your frequency. Focus on what you have. And as you expand your awareness, as you scan back, stand back and scan back, you see the bigger picture, just realize you're on planet Earth. Most of us are in a Western country that's civilized. We have it good. 
more than 70% of the population. You have running water, you have shelter. I know this is a cliche, but it's real. Especially when you travel and see how different people live. We've got it good. We've really got it good. If you have good health, you're surrounded by some good people, some family. You're living in a decent place. You already have it a lot better than most of the people in the world. So focus on what you're grateful for. You're blessed. And we all need to get out of this. Uh, not all of us are in it, but a lot of us are in this kind of scarce mentality. A mentality of lack. Like we always need to chase the next thing and something's not enough. We forget the abundance that's already here. Whatever you want, you can go to any shop, get it. Whatever you want to do, you can go and do it. You want to make a YouTube video, you can do it. You want to do some art, you can do it. You want to find any type of information, you can Google it. You want to go to any venue if you're... If you want to pick up a new skill, you can do it. You can do anything. The accessibility level in 2023 now is the highest that it's ever been. Accessibility. We have access to everything. Fingertips. Right there. And I want to say something else. Make this very clear. I feel there's a misconception or a misunderstanding in a lot of our minds. We think that like giving love and being joyful and like giving love to other people when we're out and about is like going out of our way. And sometimes we feel like, man, I can't be bothered going out of my way to make someone's day or to smile at someone or to give somebody extra love. No, 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 no. This is not going out of your way. This is making a way. It's completely effortless to show love, to give love, when you genuinely feel that way inside of you. If you are naturally happy, if you're truthfully happy, it's completely effortless. It's already, you have so much abundance of joy that it's just blowing out of you. It's like a cup that's just filled up and it's, it's spilling out because the cup can't contain what's inside of it. If you're joyful, I mean, it's effortless to give love, to say hello to someone, to smile, it's not even really in what you say. It's just your energy. Just good energy. And once again, the way to cultivate good energy is just to realize that everyone is the same as you. It puts you in more of a unity frequency where you realize everyone is literally you. Like we're the same. So... It's nothing to give good energy to people because I'm, I have good energy within me anyway. It's completely effortless. I'm not going out of my way. You're not going out of your way. It is the way. It's just you're just being yourself. You're just being natural. And then the funny thing is, so you think, sometimes in our mind we think that it's going out of our way help someone or to give somebody love or whatever just the simple things you don't have to do anything over the top you don't have to build a house for them just hello this that uh, a little word here and there a good talk good energy easy right and the funny thing is it's effortless to do that and as you do that the person receiving that will receive it, they'll love it, because energy is energy, it's mutual, and if you're giving love, they'll receive that, they'll just give it back, but you don't do it to get anything back, 
You just do it because it's just, it's just natural. And it's also selfish. So we need to reprogram the way we think about giving love. When I give love, I'm doing it out of selfishness. Self-love and also the fact that I feel good. So it's only natural that I want somebody else to feel good. Because when, I, when they feel good and I see the smile on their face and I see how they're reacting, that makes me feel good times 10. And then I leave that person and then I go on my way and then I carry that energy with me to the next person or the next circumstance. You see how that works? We're all connected. So it's so easy. You know, I, I interact with people and... Man, some people's energy is just so good. I've met strangers that within 5-10 seconds, I feel like I've known them for so long. You know, there's just... Some people are so wholesome. And that's another thing we need to get back to, is being wholesome. Like, wholesome. Like, just good energy for no reason. For no reason other than itself. It is its own reason. It just feels good. I want to feel good. I want to feel good as fuck. <laughs> I want to feel good as hell. So, ironically, you feel the best when you give love. Instead of, rah, 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 I take more for me, more for me. Get out of my way. I'm supposed to park here. Oh, this is where I park. Get, get out of my way or call the authorities. See, I already feel restricted. Like, mm, look at my neck, you know. And when you do that, you're just making your life more of a living hell. And then you're, do you're giving that energy out to other people. And then their life becomes a little bit hellish from your energy. So that's what I, why I wanted to speak about this, because it's so easy to do if we all do it. But it's not like we're doing anything. That's the misconception. We're not doing anything. We're just letting go of having this narrow mindset of everything's about me and this is what I have to do today. And you can still do all of that, but realize everybody's in it together. And just... Focus on feeling good, because when you feel good, you do the tasks better. Your actions are better anyway. And without you knowing, without me even knowing, I'm making people's days better, I'm giving good energy, I'm not even thinking about it. I just feel good, have a laugh here, smile, whatever. It's easy, it's effortless. Don't you dare sleep on me, laptopy. Don't you dare. Yep. Just checking if I had any more dot points that I forgot to cover. I think that's good. I think I've uh, hit the nail on that one. So this talk is just a reminder from your friendly neighbor, Mango. Um, do whatever the hell you want. This is just a suggestion. Feel good. That's the message. Feel good. And to feel good, get out of your own narrow mind. Look at the big picture. We're all in the same boat. We all want to feel good. We all have desires, wants, needs. And so when I talk about unity a lot on this channel and spirituality, it's all just based on common sense. The underlying thing of it all is just, there's 8 billion of us. We're all inhabiting this planet. I like to feel good. And I know because I like to feel good, my friend over here, likes to feel good as well because we're the same species we're the same we have the same emotions we have the same just everything we're the same 
And so all we really want is a pleasant, healthy experience on this planet for everyone. So what would be the steps or what would we have to change or do in order to experience that? It's that simple. Jesus talked about this. Love your neighbor as yourself. It's not based on morality. It's just based on common sense. Me, 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 me like to feel good. He, 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 and she, 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 she likes to feel good too. Yay! Let's all feel good together. Uh, hooray! Case closed. I'll leave it there. Thank you all for listening, watching. Peace out with a bit of love and goodbye.